There's a new viral hack making the rounds, claiming to help you clean out the inside of a pumpkin in just a few seconds. Yeah, there. supposedly all you need is a hand mixer to do it. So, I like this. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester live in Dearborn. He's going to put it to the test. I'm already laughing, Hank. <laughs> I'm sure it was a mess for you. <laughs> Hey, you know, it It looks so cool and it looks so easy on Instagram. We thought we had to try it. You're going to see the results of my pumpkin in a minute. Right now, though, I want to give you a look at this setup here. We're on Grindley Park in Dearborn. If you were tuning in this morning to the Today Show, you may have seen this property featured one of the spookiest homes in America. Our Grant Herms is out here live. I mean, this was a lot of work. Speaking of a lot of work, carving the old pumpkin, we know it's always a lot of work every year, a big old mess. So this year... We saw a viral sensation. Videos on TikTok showing how to make this process a little easier. Does it work? It's the pumpkin carving hack that has now gone viral. The first video put out by Barbara Costello, the self-proclaimed everyone's grandma. The video getting millions of views on TikTok. Get all those then celebrities like Jennifer Garner giving it a try. You carve the pumpkin upside down, you get a hand mixer, and you go. Barbara and Jennifer made it look so easy. So we wondered, is it really easy? Today, we're putting it to the test. Normally, when we carve our pumpkin, what are we doing? Cutting the top off? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna flip that upside down. So put this in your lap. The Etzen kids and the Gontina kids, pumpkin in lap, mixer in hand. We're gonna use the hand mixer on the inside of the pumpkin to get all the guts out. Our first mistake, the hole we made wasn't big enough. I can't reach the bottom though. Then you gotta be careful because when you're using that mixer, the pumpkin guts go everywhere. <laughs> it, it shoots everywhere. Once we got the hang of it, the reality is it does make cleaning the actual pumpkin out a little bit easier. It did help get all, everything unstuck. A little messier with the, with the uh, mixer shooting stuff, but better for getting the gunk out. Yeah. My daughter Emma helped me take on this pumpkin the old fashioned way. The guts are still stuck. It was harder to get the seeds out, and my daughter didn't like the gooey mess. Well, come on, let's try it the old way. Can you, can you try it the old way? Why? Just try it. Gross? Okay. Yeah, she, she was not having it. She wanted the mixer way, the, the wave of the future, right? Take a look, though. This is the pumpkin I cleaned out the old school way. You got some seeds in there. The ones that were done with the mixer... Once we got the hang of it, and once it wasn't flying everywhere, those are clean as a whistle inside. Really easy to get those seeds out. So my two takeaways, make sure you make that hole really big on the bottom. That way you can get the mixer all the way in. And then beware, because you are using a mixer, stuff is going to fly. You just got to be ready. But really not so bad. Not so huh. bad at all. I'm, We're I'm, live here in Dearborn. Back to you. I'm really impressed, Hank. I thought it was going to be a hot mess. You did well. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jenna, hey, listen, Jennifer Garner, leave it, leave it to Hollywood. Jennifer right. Garner made it look so easy and so perfect. It wasn't, but it is a good way to help loosen up all the gunk inside. All right. Thank you, Hank. We appreciate it.